Bom dia! My name is Eileen from Two Rivers, back with a property here in central Portugal. And guess what? So I found a property that is for sale right now. It is a farm that consists of two plots that can be sold either separately or together. It has two houses, a well, borehole, extra land to build on, and it has a river nearby. And come on guys, you should have known by now that I love rivers. <laughs> The property is located in the village Naguzela that is well known for its stunning Praia Fluvial, which has the river down flowing through. Wow. You also have a 49 kilometer bicycle path you can enjoy. And the village itself is quite idyllic with a little supermarket in close proximity to Tendela, which is a bigger town that has everything you need. Okay, so we have arrived. This over here is the one of the houses that is part of the property. Let's just give you a little outlay. So if you see that gate, that is all part of the property over there. Down there is where the Praia Fluvial would be. And then this in front of us already is the property, including this house. So this is obviously where you could maybe make a carport. It looks better from behind, trust me. Now, a positive thing is it is completely already functioning with electric. So the electricity works. And then also you can easily be connected to the mains water so that's not a problem at all then this gate is where you enter the rest of the property let me get in here big oh I love it so we just got in through that gate over there and then here you have the first house on the property and um, I think the owner already had plans to make an extension to this that are already taught out so I think they are in the house I can show you that them later and then this is the rest of the property but behind there is a whole other section with another building um, that belongs to it so it's bigger than it looks like from first glance a good thing to know as you can see you have a top terrace with a stone house on it then you have a lower terrace and then there is another extra part with an extra building where you can live in or rebuild. Until this, so this top terrace including the house and all the rest are two different plots. But they are from the same owner so you can just buy them in one go. Now, I was talking to the owner and we could only imagine that if you are buying a house that you're maybe going to renovate and rebuild and you have this as a view in front of you that you most likely would like to have that as well because otherwise you would have no control on you know what happens with it and also one important thing is that that piece over there has a borehole so you will have water <laughs> from the ground for your whole property so we can already see that there is a water tank you could fill up there is a well but most importantly, there is a borehole that is connected to the whole integration system of the whole piece of land. And if there's one thing that is important, if you're buying a property in Portugal, especially in Quinta, then it's water. Um, you cannot go without it, basically. Oh, well, at least the light is working, so that's good. 
that's due to the solar panels that are on top of this building. So the inside needs to be completely redone, remodeled and everything. But on top of this, there are solar panels. So that part of it is completely working. As you can see, it needs a facelift, to say the least. But if it were me, I would knock out that wall. Um, I already asked if that would be possible and they said it would be possible. It's not a load wearing ball. Then I would take out this as well and maybe uh, install a little bit of more compact version of it. It needs some new windows. And then if you look up over there, um, there even is an attic. So it looks like there would be some possibilities to do something with that as well. From here, I have to say the wood all looks in good condition. Um, over there, maybe not. So yeah, from the other side, uh, knock out this wall and make it much bigger. Now this is interesting because the owner, like I said, already made plans. So this is the part we are right now. So this would be an option. You could make a room, kitchen, and then extend it the whole extra part. Or you could do it like this, or you could do it uh, like this. So he already thought of options when, when he was thinking of what to do with the property. But his idea at that point was to extend it with the part that we saw outside. Yeah, it will give you a lot more room um, to work with. Another smaller room. And working Wi-Fi. <laughs> so yeah, you most definitely have electricity from your own solar panels. So then we have this part. Here is another room, presumably the bathroom, of course. So let me give you a good look of There, in this case, it would have been the bathroom, but you are free to uh, redesign it yourself. And this would be the extension that the owner had of an idea to make it bigger. So extend the whole part um, over there, which would be a very nice addition, I think. So yeah, so. Let's see what the lower floor has to offer. Oh. So this used to be a old shop. I think this is about 40 square meters. Um, I had a look at the wood. It all looks still intact. So that is a good thing. It would be nice to um, make a nice door in here. 40 square meters, um, all the wood looks still healthy and good. So that's positive. Stone walls, thick. This would be your view. So 
So to access the other piece of land, we're just going to go out on the road a little bit for a little detour down here. Oh, oh my gosh, look at the sweet puppy. Então, tudo bem? Estava a dormir. Oh, também. Okay, I'm going to enter the other side of the property over here. Obviously, you can connect them when you buy it, but for now, <laughs> this is the way. <laughs> so this is not part of your property. Oh, hi. But this building is part of the property. So on the right hand side, we have like an animal shed, what it used to be. And then on the left hand side, they built another piece of the house, which still needs to be completed. Then you have some friendly neighbors. <laughs> oh gosh, there's more. Okay, so this is the shed which now has a lot of hay in it. Um, but you can turn this into something else. So yeah, <laughs> if you don't have animals, you can obviously take out the hay and do something else with it. Like a guest room or a little studio or whatever you have in your mind. Then over here, uh, so this part, I think, if I'm correct, is also part of the property, except for this shed on the right hand side. That is the end of it. Now let's enter. Oh, look at this for a detail. Oh. Okay, what I like about this is that the ceiling is high. Um, the roof seems to be insulated with foam. I'm no expert, so please don't <laughs> come at me for that. So it's pretty high, I'd say it would be at least three and a half meters. Yeah, easily. Okay, so to give you guys a little bit of an idea of how high it is over here. Yeah, this is definitely, I think three and a half meters. So I think this place has good potential to turn into a, a house. This part is a little bit lower because of the roofing. And then it would be your view. So these are not exactly ruins because, I mean, they have walls, they have a roof, it's leak proof, but it definitely is a project for people who are excited to completely remodel um, the houses in the way that they want. So you need to be up to that and you need to have the budget for that. But I think you can make a gorgeous uh, thing out of this, maybe a guest house, something like that. So this is part of it. This is also all part of the property. This used to be the places where they would keep the animals, which you still can do, of course. If that's what you want. Okay, so to give you guys a sense of space, this is one part of the terraces. From here I can see there are one, two, three, and then if you include the one on top, four terraces of um, land that you have. And this is one part of it. And I'm going to show you the borehole and the fruit trees. see 
the light. Oh, this is something I haven't even noticed yet, but there is a whole lower floor. Um, I don't know if that's part of the neighbors or if that is part of this house. Something I have to investigate. Okay. So this place has tons of fruit trees. Here you can see the olives. Going to grow. Then this is the second terrace. Looking over the third or the fourth terrace, sorry. But just let's have a look at the fruit trees. So I think this is an orange tree. It's not orange yet, but it will be. And then a apple tree. Look at those baby apples. Gorgeous. Ooh, we have some more mature apples over here. Let's make our way to terrace number three. flowers and look at those so over here terrace number three completely ready to cultivate and do whatever you want on it um, with a lemon tree by the way so I think we already found three different types of fruits pear tree makes five and the Olive Garden. Gorgeous. Okay, great thing about this property is it has a borehole. So if you go into this house over here, this is uh, the pump, if I'm correct. And the borehole itself is located under this. It's connected to the whole integration system. So I think the borehole was at least 60 or 70 meters deep into the ground. So they always have water. We have the well and the first house. And then down there, we have the second house. So the whole property is on the market right now for 158,000 euros. If you would only want to buy the one of the properties separately, obviously that would be a different price. I think the first house and that little plot of land would be around 49,000 euros. But if you are interested, please make sure to leave your contact details in the description box because I will make sure to bring you in contact with the owner and you can discuss everything true. Muito obrigada outra vez e até a próxima!